welcome back to Gravel. So sorry for the interruption because we have not been recording for a while. So that is because we had Gravel Fiesta. So everybody should participate in that fiesta. Actually, everybody. So to, uh, we have decided to to like uh, make it in groups. So the groups we are making it is in space, maths, science, and body. So anybody who needs to do a class on body or space or maths or science should come in the Zoom link they need to ask. Which we'll do, be do, doing notes of body and also space and also maths and science. You need to have a special book on it. So let's start today's topic, which is which is going to be maths. So let's start our class today. So maths. So today we are going to do two topics on maths as per our syllabus. So we have the first topic as a tough one. And we are not going to do KG1 maths. We are going to do upper study maths. So the first, the first topic is that circumference. So circumference is equal to perimeter of a circle which you know is our first topic. Let's go in. How to find the perimeter of a circle or circumference? Before that, let me check who all know this. So I'm going to give you tips and okay, let's start. So this is a circle of two centimeter radius. And we are going to know how to do the the perimeter of the circle. So let's start. Take the radius, multiply with by with the two, multiply by two, and this number is itself two. So two into two is a four, and we got four as the diameter because we know radius two times is diameter. So four is the diameter now. Now multiply four. That means the diameter by pi. So I meant by pi is 3.14, 3.14. So what should we do is that we need to check this. So four into 3.14 we need to do. Multiply by 3.14, four. So the answer will come, guess, 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 12.56. So I was, uh, I was thinking that, does anybody took time in multiplying this? So next class, like next week, we will be doing Vedic Maths and some on, another topic called Cube Root. So everybody should see or view that session. And that's it. You got the answer as 12.56. That's the perimeter of the circle. Surprising. Now, the, uh, if you do a lot of practice in this, like you'll never forget the, uh, the formula of this. The next topic. It's just introduction of this topic because uh, if we go very deeper, some would be confused. So, so we are going step by step inside deeper into maths. And if we get very deeper, we are going to succeed. Okay, let's, let's introduce square root of a number. So square root. So square root is the first, the, the second topic. Square root is a process. Square rooting is the process by which a number is multiplied by itself. But yeah, I'm going to take a number, 12. 12 into 12 is a square rooting. So 12 into 12 is going to be 144. So I'm going to take another number. So 14 into 14. How much is that? 14 into 14. Anybody guess, guess, guess? 14 into 14? Huh? Anybody know? Does anybody know? So mail it to me, 14 to 14. I'm just simply kidding for this small, I'm not going to ask you anything. 196. So with this 196 number is going to be, so for 196, the square root would be 14. Okay, so let's go into the exercises. So before we go to the exercises, we need to study this. So some people will say, oh my God, this is just time waste. This is just time waste. This is worth your time. 
So we need to study the table of square roots. So the table of square roots is multiplying a number by itself. So one into one, one. Two into two, four. Three into three, nine. Four into four, uh, four into four, 16. Five into five, 25. So till the last of 25 into 25, 625, you need to buy hard. If it's possible, you can screenshot this and you can show me. I'm saying study for this because in the future topics, we are going to do, we are going to study with this. Because when it comes to the volume of an icosahedron and the area of an icosahedron, we need to study the square roots. So before that, I'm going to say you that we need to learn square roots and also cube roots. Cube roots we are going to study in the next class. So everybody should be so attentive to this class. So we need to buy half this, this one. So find the square root of 90, uh, 9081. So uh, uh, how to find this like very fast you may think. You may search in Google. No, no, no need to search in Google. So I have given a table over here, which is doing square rooting over here, this process. 1 into 1, 1, 2 into 2, 4, 3 into 3, 9, 4 into 4, 16, 5 into 5, 25, 6 into 6, 36, 7 into 7, 49, 8 into 8, 64, 9 into 9, 81, 10 into 10, 100. So everybody may be knowing this because they have by hearted the tables from 1 to 10. So the square rooting is part of the, that table. So how to find the square root of 9081 with the help of this table? So the first thing you need to be doing is that, the, the thing you need to be doing is that, you can see A, T1. So divide this group, 9,081 is every, the number. Now divide it in two groups because it's a four digit number. The next class I'll be going this in detail. But today we are only going in four digits. So divided it in groups. So in this groups, you need to check that. Is this coming in this table? So luckily we got 81 over here in nines. So just keep nine over here. And the last digit is one. So one is also there over here in the ones one, in the ones category. So also write nine or one, something. And 90, which is 81 or 100, 100 won't come because 100 is bigger. So 81, which is nine. So we got the first digit is, I'm going to do it in another color. Okay, nine should be in another color because that's, this is a, like, we know that nine. Now this is not 100% accurate like the normal method. So what we need to do is that we are choosing nine or one is the question. So if we choose this, this is not accurate currently, but one will come. So if we estimate this 91, then we will get 95. Estimating is a process by which we, we take another number from this number. So this method is not 100% accurate, but for less, like it's very near. So let's see what is the answer. So the answer is, yes, guess this. Yeah, it's 95, 95 point something. So the answer is 95 point something by doing estimation. In the next class, I will see you. In the next class, I will be seeing you with the prime factorization method for the square rooting, cube rooting. So the next class topics I'm going to say today only, cube rooting, square rooting by prime factorization and into deeper methods. So by now, thank you.